I do remember I tried to persuade uh, John Nathan Turner years yes. ago to do a uh, you know Davros Christmas special. Oh yeah, like Baldunican. Oh yes, in, in his rocking chair. Some of my <coughs> best friends you know, are songs. And um, you know, little baby Dalek in the tree, and the Doctor. You know, so we're seeing Doctor roasting on an open fire. <laughs> you know. I thought it would come down. I didn't, you didn't buy it. I'd watch it. I'd yeah, watch I that. know you. Yeah. Well, here we are. I'm Nick Briggs. And I'm Terry Malloy. And we're here to answer your questions, questions yes. sent to yes. Twitter. Shall I ask you, you quick? So, uh, they might be Davros themed, really? funnily enough, since you're famous for playing Davros. Am I? Yes. OK, here okay. we go. Uh, what present would you buy Davros for his birthday? <laughs> um, well, I'm, you know, apart from, you know, having the doctor exterminated, uh, it would be, um, you know, probably getting his hand back. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Yeah. I think, you know, you've you know, got to give Davros a hand now and again. You know, yes. And uh, that might be a nice one. That's a very considerate present. Yeah. Well, well done. Uh, what do you think the very final Davros story should be like? The very final Davros mm. story? Um, I think that actually the very final Dav Davros story is that Davros does lure the Doctor into this new enterprise that he set up on Earth. The Starship Enterprise? Oh, no, 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 no. It's called Duncan Daleks. And it's his, his attempt to turn the entire Earth into obese characters who he can then turn into, into massive Daleks. Oh. And, the, in fact, they basically roll all over the Doctor at the end. You've it's clearly like, thought about this. No. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next up... I haven't been saying who these are from. This one's from Jenny, just by, if you wanted to know. Yeah. Have you any advice on overcoming... This is a serious question. Really? Have you any uh, any advice on overcoming shyness and did acting help you? I couldn't answer that. I'm too shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... Were you shy? I still are you am. Shy? Yeah. I still Me am too, shy. actually. Mm. I mean, you know, people think, oh, you're full of all the... But you kind of, I think... You kind of hide behind the characters, or well, I did. It was, uh, I mean, certainly at school, it was a case of you either get thumped or you make people laugh. Right. Yeah. So you become this character and you hide behind the shyness that you've got. And, 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 you know, people think you're the life and soul of the party and you're not. You go, oh, gosh, I hate parties. Me I too. I really cannot stand parties. Me too. I just, I freeze, you know, and... Um, and, and my wife says, go on, go on, network. Me, oh, I've got a car. No, 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 not networking. Please, you know, leave me in the corner here and I'll, you know, just eat the peanuts. Thank you. Yeah, I'm happiest with my friends. Yes. You know, just yeah, the yeah, people yeah. you know yeah. really well Absolutely. and you can spend yeah. a bit of quality time with them. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, does Davros ever wish he could have a holiday? Yes, he does. Um, there's a great 18 to 30 club on Scaro. <laughs> They do it. They do a fantastic yeah. uh, thing, you know. Um, he's, yes, he's, he'd like to dabble his toes or what's left of them in the sea. There, you know. Um, no, he wouldn't want. It. He's far too busy trying to, you know. He'd be if he went to the beach, he'd be trying to convert the sand into something. Wouldn't he? You know, then he'd build this sort of giant ceramic sculpture of a Dalek or something. I don't know. Um, no, no, no. no. Um, that's it. For yeah, questions to Davros, right. yes. Have you got yeah. questions for I Daleks? Do indeed, yes. I've got one okay. here from, uh, it might be a Doctor Who one, it's from Timey Wimey. Have you ever created a Dalek voice? Oh, no, sorry, there's more. <laughs> Have you ever created a Dalek voice and then thought, oh, no, I can't use that voice? <laughs> um, I've done a few sort of odd accents as Daleks when directors have, yeah. have said, uh, oh, what about a so-and-so one? Yeah. Or, so, and I remember when we did that s television story, Into the Dalek, right. the director of that, who's a very famous movie director, he's, he was really taking the mickey out of me when I was having to do lots of different Dalek voices for a scene, and he kept shouting out suggestions from behind the camera, <laughs> and they were getting more and more ludicrous. <laughs> and, and, you know, he was sitting, and I, and I did every single one of them, yeah. you know. He said, well, a, a bigger one, a, a, a tired one, one that doesn't care about anything, and all this <laughs> kind of thing, and I was doing it all, and they didn't, they didn't use any of it, of course. Yeah. And um, Silly Jesus wants to know... <laughs> oh, Silly Jesus. Silly Jesus. Is that that? Uh, name a movie from any time, from any genre, that 
that would have been made better by inserting a Dalek. Oh, Where Eagles Dare. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think yeah. I've written Where Eagles Dare as a Dalek story many it times, actually, be, yeah. thinly disguised. So, yes, if you spot it, folks, do write in to podcast at bigfinish.com. David W. Yes. wants to know, when will we have a Dalek musical episode? <laughs> well, we did have, uh, there was a, a, a story we did called Jubilee. Mm. Look that up at bigfinish.com, yeah. where, um, where the Daleks did sing a song. Yeah. And then they were, but they weren't proper Daleks, and the other Daleks exterminated them. Yeah. And is that we are the Daleks? We like to do. Well, this is our song. Is we're it. very naughty, and we like to do wrong. And then the other Daleks open fire and say, "Kill them!" They all blow up, and they say, "Daleks do not sing." So oh, we've sort of done a bit of a musical, bit, oh, but okay. yeah, I think that um, I think it's only a matter of time. Right, Gavin Skinner, no relation to Frank, I don't think. Yeah, um, what a shame. In the old days, Dalek voice actors often worked in pairs, like yes. crinoid seeds. Which of these double acts do you rate most highly? We're getting into lists now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you were ever to share the sound booth with another Dalek art voice artist, who would you choose? Well, I, th I suppose I'd, I like to go with the originals, which is uh, Peter Hawkins and David Graham used yeah. to do them together. When Russell T. Davis, after the first uh, Dalek story I did, Dalek, on the telly, yeah. um, said to me, oh, we're going to do one. I went to a press launch and he said to me um, during it, we're going to do another one with lots of Daleks. Do I need to get anyone else? And I went, no, 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 it's fine, fine, fine. fine, fine, fine. So that's why I've ended up to it. It's also cheaper for the BBC just to employ just me. And that's, yeah, that's yeah. always a plus yeah, yeah. for the BBC. You they wouldn't want a separate want... contract for each voice. Each wouldn't voice. that be nice? And when I'm there doing Daleks and Cybermen together, people say, oh, I suppose you're getting paid <laughs> twice for <laughs> this. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that doesn't happen. Um, so, yes. And I, if I could pair up with anyone, it would be the, the late, great Peter Hawkins who did. And, yeah. you know, he instigated the Dalek voice. He created the voice that all other da Dalek voice artists, including myself, have kind of impersonated to one degree or another. He he created that intonation yeah. and um, yeah. that's what we've all, by and large, stuck with. Yeah. Well, that's me done. That's, oh, me. that's, well, that's thank your you. little um, uh, collaborative number of things. Yes, I'm, uh, yes, that, I'll cover them all. Well, I think um, we've got some more conquering to do, haven't we? Uh, there is a little conquering still still required of both of us. Let's dematerialise. Dematerialise. <laughs> Excellent.